Hello my little rays of sunshine, how are you all doing out there today? I'm Michelle the introvert and yes, I'm in the car again. We are on another adventure. It is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all of you wonderful mothers out there. It's Mother's Day and Gerald and Stacy and Joshua and I were on a family adventure and you're all welcome to come with us. We're actually heading to Liverpool. And right now we're making a pit stop here at the gas station. Gerald is out putting some gas in the car and Josh likes to help him do that. And Stacy is actually in the store here at the gas station picking up a bottle of water. And then we're on our way. So it's gonna be fun, my friends. You're all welcome. So please come along and join us. says the Hank Snow Museum. I would like to go there someday to the Hank Snow Museum. We have Tim Hortons, Sobeys, we also have McDonald's. In three and a half kilometers, arrive at Brooklyn.
street here. Look at the older buildings. That building's nice there. Hmm. They have a very nice main street here. We are at Dixie Lee Family Restaurant and it's about that time for us to stop for lunch but our main destination comes in after we have our lunch today. <laughs> so I'm still going to keep it a secret but come, come on in with us as we go into this restaurant. There's a nice little placemat here and it's got their logo right there, Dixie Lee Family Restaurant and there's a map, there's New Brunswick there, Nova Scotia here and here's Liverpool, that's where we are and then Yarmouth is down about here, this area here. And here's our food. We have a lot of food happening. And this is mine in this box. I'll show you what that looks like. Let's take a look. Now even though this is a fish restaurant, um, a chicken restaurant, we actually sell seafood. So this is what we ordered. Two pieces of fish, and some fries, and some coleslaw. There's some coleslaw hidden under there. And there's some tartar sauce in this box too. Maybe it's underneath this pile of fries. But we've got some root beer. Plenty of extra ketchups for everybody. Hey Joshua. Hi. How do you like your lunch, sweetie? It's good. All right. So it's, we're having a good Mother's Day. It's a good family day here. And now I'm going to eat. As I look just over here, on the side of this other building there is a huge mural and it goes all the way down it's quite something I just want to get a closer look there's some teepees there some indigenous people in the picture This is way, way over my head, this building. It's quite a mural. Someone did a lot of work on this. A lot of history. And there's some trees that are painted, very, very tall trees. Going right up to the roof. And I'm trying to make out what these words here say. Hmm. It's kind of worn out here. I'm sorry to say I can't really read it. But we'll keep moving on. You can get a nice look here at this beautiful work of art. It would have taken more than a day or two to, to do this, for sure. And I hear a bell, a church bell. Happy Mother's Day, all you wonderful mothers out there. There's a painting of a, a schooner. Schooner ship right there.
You can learn a lot of history just from looking at pictures too, can't you? You can see the old-fashioned clothes, how the women dressed, and how the men dressed, and the workers too, how they dressed. Milton Falls Mills, proprietor Simeon Perkins, Milton, Queens County, Nova Scotia. Another little piece of Nova Scotia history. So we're heading for our final destination. The reason why we've come up here and as we get a little closer and we are almost there, you'll be very pleasantly surprised at some of the things that we're going to see today. There's the Cosby's sign there. And they're open, of course. There's a nice flower garden here. And it looks like they're still doing some work. Putting some of the pots in. But the plants look healthy and very happy. And look at these flowers over here. Those are beautiful. Check it out, my friends. This wonderful work of art. And I'm looking forward to seeing what other concrete creations there are on this vicinity. And another example of their concrete creation. There's a squirrel having a snack. And this is quite a sculpture here. He's blowing into this shell, which is then making the water come out and into this fountain area. And I think that these are mermaids. I was taking a little look. And instead of feet, they have these fins. This sculpture here is of some dancers. That's very nice too. And as we look around, there's a Shergain building right there. And a lot of other sculptures and plants and trees for gardening. And he's an interesting fellow, isn't he? This is quite a nice place. I've never been here before. This is my very first time. But this is really fascinating. That would look nice in someone's front yard or backyard if they have a very large yard. It's quite beautiful, isn't it? And the sound of the water is very soothing. Someone did a lot of work on these sculptures. And that's a lizard right there. Look at the detail. That wouldn't have been easy to do that. And there's a bird in the front there. Hmm. 
wonder what kind of plants those are. I'm just taking a little look here. Flowers of some kind. Hmm. And these here look like they're blueberry bushes here. Yes, they are. Those are all blueberry plants. I actually wouldn't mind having a couple of those sometime this year or next. But those are all blueberry plants right there. Oh my goodness, that's wonderful. I'm just walking up this pathway here. There's quite a pathway ahead of me. And I'm looking all around. That's quite a nice greenhouse building there, isn't there? Oh my. Look how much is in there. Boy, that's really nice. It's a nice building too. Really nice place to grow plants and flowers. There's a couple of wheelbarrows right there. <laughs> On this side here, they have a castle. Up on the hill. Up on a rock. Here's a sign. I'm just getting up close so I can read it. This is not a playground. The statues are fragile and there are many rare plants in the gardens. Please stay on pathways. That's a good idea to have a sign like that. And the path continues. Wow, look at this sculpture. Oh my goodness. It's a boy with a drum. Looks like a cougar. And I'm going to go right around it so I can see everything. It's a nice girl, sculpture of a girl there. And a man playing his musical instrument. Just below the treetops. And his pet owl is right there. And a lot of animals, rabbits, someone with their bow and arrow. Oh my goodness, somebody did this and did a lot of work. This is quite remarkable. Wow. I've never seen anything like this before. This is quite amazing. Wow, this is... And he's playing an instrument too, a harmonica. Or a little flute of some kind. And he's playing the drums. Huh. It's great scope for the imagination. I'm having a really fun day here. <laughs> I think Gerald, Stacy, and Joshua are too, because they've never seen anything like this before either. This is really, really nice. I'm definitely going to be coming this way again. Some of my viewers had suggested this place and suggest I come down and take a look at Concrete Creations, which is what this is. This is amazing. This is a magnificent dragon sculpture. I think this one is my favorite so far. So far of what I've seen. This is absolutely amazing and remarkable. As you can see, there's a pathway to follow. And the paths are very clear. There's no getting lost here. And you don't have to walk very far till you come across more sculptures, like this one. This nice lady 
as quite a few pet foxes. And as you keep looking up, up, and up, you'll see there's someone on the very top. And guess who he's looking at? Let's take a quick look at where he is gazing. He's gazing at the lady with the foxes. <laughs> There's something lurking behind this tree. There's quite a few people here today and they seem to be enjoying themselves. You can probably hear them a little bit in the background. Look at this sculpture here. <laughs> Pretty amazing, isn't it? When you look all around, you can see sculptures everywhere, hidden amongst the trees. animals as most of you know so these turtles there's one there's two and there's three they're all going down their own path they're on a mission they have a destination and I would love to be going where they are going but so far we're all heading in the same direction we're heading up this pathway here Up on these rocks, there are several sculptures in amongst the trees, this nice wooded area. And Stacy was told by staff that every year this sculpture area in the woods, they continue to expand it. Someone has a wonderful imagination to think of all these ideas for different sculptures. Gerald and I could do this for you all, but we'd be just showing off, I think. 
There's a very large head on our path. Oh my goodness, look at the size. Oh my goodness, look at how big this is. So you guys can get a bit of a scale of how large that head is. <laughs> I'm standing right in front of it. It's quite large, isn't it? <laughs> There's still more paths up ahead. I don't even know if we're halfway done yet. <laughs> this is really nice. There's some down there as well. Down in the woods. There, I don't know if you can see, but there's more down there. And there's more up ahead here. Joshua's found something. What did you find, Joshua? Oh, look at this. Dragon. This is a beautiful dragon. This is really nice. Anything that has to do with dragons I really love. That must be where the dragon lives. There must be a dragon cave up there somewhere. Just watching my footing here. They have some really nice clear paths to follow. Down the steps we go. It's along the path, actually. Very nice stone stairs. <laughs> I'm having a great time walking amongst the trails. Seeing all the different pieces of art and sculptures. And there's a lot of people here today too. And some kids too. Someone stretched out and relaxed, leaning against the rocks, waiting for the sun to shine on him or her. Let's take a look. This is nice. There's someone who's quite the acrobat. And on this side, another acrobat is very flexible. And now we are entering the circus. There's a lot of acrobats in this section. And that clown is wearing a tie and a nice hat. Contribute as you wish to Johnny Branson the Beggar Boy. For the upkeep of this garden, please, please place any funds you can spare in the pot on his knee. Thank you. And there he is. Johnny the Beggar Boy in all his glory. And I have a contribution. I put it in his hand. Put it in there. There. Thank you very much. We had a wonderful day.
my topic for today is some more of your questions and I'm very very happy to answer your questions and I have them written down here on my yellow piece of paper <laughs> let's see here okay a viewer had asked what is my favorite song now that's actually very very easy that's a very very easy one to answer and um, the song actually is on YouTube. You can find it on YouTube. And there's only one very specific version of this song that I absolutely love. And it always humbles me and it always makes me, um, makes me gulp a little, choke up a little bit. <laughs> and I'll tell you what that is. I have it written down here. And that is Andre Crouch. And he wrote this song and it's called My Tribute, but everybody actually knows it as To God Be the Glory. And he wrote that song and he sings this song. And like I mentioned, you can find it on YouTube. And it's, his, it's this version that is my absolute favorite, that to me it's the standard. And in the song To God Be the Glory, there's a lady that sings with Andre, and I absolutely love her voice. And when she hits a particular high note, when she's singing, I just, oh my goodness, it just, choked, it just chokes me up every time. And every word, every lyric of this song is just phenomenal, and it's definitely my prayer. If I had a prayer of my heart, it's this song, To God Be the Glory. Um, and it's also called my tribute another viewer question that was asked of me or sent to me and that is what is my favorite book well I have a lot of books that I absolutely love but my favorite book is definitely without any question my favorite book is the Bible and my favorite book in the Bible is Psalms. And the reason why Psalms is my favorite book in the Bible, and that is because I find that it makes God really a lot more personal, like really personal. And I'll give you some examples of what I mean by, by um, how he feels so much more personal. Um, in Psalms chapter 145, verses 18a, the scripture is, The Lord is nigh, the Lord is near, unto all them that call upon him. So if you call upon him, he's very close. He's not a million, zillion miles away. He's very, very, very close. And another example of what I mean by how God seems very personal, feels very personal, is very personal, um, when I read the Psalms, a lot of reminders on how close he is call upon me in the day of trouble and I will deliver thee Psalm chapter 50 verses 15 a B so anytime we need help with anything we can call upon him and he'll be there he won't be invisible he'll make his presence known in a very soothing way <laughs> The Lord is nigh, the Lord is near, unto them that are of a broken heart. Psalm chapter 34, verses 18a. So those are just pleasant reminders to me whenever I read Psalms, the book of Psalms, just how close God is. He's not a million miles away. He does not have deaf ears. If we need help or if we need Him, His presence, if we need an answer to prayer, he's very close. He's not a million miles away. He does not have deaf ears. He's a very close and personal friend. <laughs> so I hope that answers your questions, my friends. Those are really, really good questions. And anytime, my viewers, my friends, if you have any questions that you would like to have answered by me, feel free to message me. That's no problem. I absolutely love reading your questions and it will be during this time this time here during Michelle's moments that I'll answer your questions so thank you my friends for those excellent questions and here's my pot of tea <laughs> and here is my fancy schmancy teacup <laughs> 
And here's to you all, my little rays of sunshine. We're back. Yes, I had such a good day today. It was such a really nice adventure, a Mother's Day adventure, going to Cosby's Garden Center and Concrete Creations. I had an amazing, amazing time. I had a wonderful Mother's Day. And speaking of Mother's Day, look at these treasures that are behind me. <laughs> these are from Gerald, Stacy, and Joshua. And also Gerald gave me this cake over here, which we've been nibbling on. <laughs> yes, we've been nibbling on this cake. It's very good. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Yes, it's a very, very nice cake. And to all of you wonderful mothers out there, I would like to wish you a very, very happy Mother's Day. You're all in my thoughts and in my prayers, that's for sure. And I hope you all had a very, very good day today here on Mother's Day. And my friends, my viewers, I want to thank you for joining me and for watching this vlog. And if you like this vlog, please give me the YouTube thumbs up or press that subscribe button. That would be great. And I have more vlogs coming up, so stay tuned and I'll talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. Bye.